Unsubscribe Center allows you to create and manage multiple unsubscribe pages for your account. You can then use these separate unsubscribe pages for different campaigns, for different product families, or to display completely different branding. You could even create different unsubscribe pages if you have translations of each to support multiple languages. So in this video, I want to show you how to use the Unsubscribe Center in Act Marketing Automation. Let's say that I want to create a new unsubscribe page that asks customers to tell me why they're leaving when they unsubscribe from my marketing campaigns. Since this is a tool reserved for ACT Marketing Automation administrators only, let's start by going to Marketing Automation, and then from here we'll click the Admin button. Now in the drop down at the top, let's go down to the Subscription Management area and choose Unsubscribe Center, and then we'll click the Go button. I currently don't have any unsubscribe pages yet, so I'm going to go to my Actions menu on the right and choose New Page. I'm going to click Unsubscribe Template 1 and Continue. And now I need to name this page. I'm going to title it Cloudwalker Unsubscription Reasons. And now I'll click Create. This takes me to a workflow screen. And I'm going to keep this as simple as possible without adding any decision or additional action stages here. Although you can get creative if you have an unsubscription process workflow in mind. I'm going to start by editing this form. So I'll click it, choose Edit Form, and then click Go. This is the form that my customers will see whenever they click the Unsubscribe link on any of my emails. I'm going to name this page Unsubscribe from Cloudwalker emails. Now it doesn't make sense that the button at the bottom of the page would say register, so I'm going to change that to say unsubscribe. Now down in the layout area, notice that we have two controls already populated for us. There's email address and then unsubscribe from all. These are both required on the layout to process the unsubscribe request correctly, but I do want to add two additional controls. One is going to be for instructions, and the second one will be to gather the reasons why my customer is unsubscribing. So let's go to the Action menu, and we'll choose Add Control. Let's create the simple instructions first. From the drop-down, I'll choose HTML, and then Add Control. And now in this field, I'm just going to paste the instructions that I wrote earlier. And if I want to, I could format this. so that it looks better with my branding. Once I'm all set, I'll go to Actions again and Save and Return. So here are my instructions. I want to drag these to the top of the layout area. So using the hamburger button, let's click and drag it to the very top. Now the last thing I want to do is add a drop-down field so that customers can choose the reason why they're unsubscribing. I already created this field in Act ahead of time so that I could add it here now. So once again, I'm going to go to my Actions menu and Add Control. This time, I'm going to choose a drop-down item and click Add Control. Now for the question at the top, I'm just going to ask, why are you unsubscribing from Cloudwalker emails? And I don't want to force them to have to answer this question, so I'm going to leave this Require box unchecked. Okay, now let's map this to the field in ACT that I created ahead of time. The field is called Unsubscribe Reason, and it's going to appear in the Custom Fields area. So let's scroll down to Custom Fields and look for Unsubscribe Reason. There it is. Now I'm going to click Add New Record, and this is where I can start to choose the responses that will appear in the drop-down list. So my first response is going to be, I did not sign up for these emails. The return value to my database will be simplified as did not sign up. And I want this option to appear first in the list, so I'm going to set the order number to 1. And now I'll click this check mark button to add that record to my drop down list. Now I'm going to add four more reasons. Okay, once all four of my records have been added to the drop down list, I can go to my actions menu at the top and choose Save and Return. I'm going to reorder this by moving my drop-down so that it appears second to last. And then again at the top, we'll go to Actions, Save and Return. And now we're back on our workflow screen. 
So if I scroll down to the bottom, I can click this link to see a preview of how this will look. And there we go. It looks pretty good to me. So now that this unsubscribe page is designed, how do I use it in my emails? Well, let's go to the campaigns area in Act Marketing Automation just to see how easy it is to link to this unsubscribe page from an email. I'm going to use my Cloudwalker newsletter campaign, so I'll edit that one. And then I want to locate one of my email steps. Let's do the first one, and we're going to edit the email content. And once the email loads, let's go to the Actions menu and choose Properties. Notice on the properties of an email within a campaign, there's a drop-down field that says Unsubscribe Landing Page. I'm going to change this from the default to the one I just created. Cloudwalker unsubscription reasons. And then I'll click update. And that's it. Now whenever anyone clicks on the unsubscribe link in this email, they're going to be taken to my new unsubscribe page.